The first law is as follows. A robot may not harm a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Marvin, you saved our lives. And, uh, wretched, isn't it? That are alive, you are coming with me. Tracking relevant targets. President of the United States. Jesus, you're gonna kill that guy! Of course, I'm a Terminator. Number two, a robot must obey orders given it by qualified personnel unless those orders violate rule number one. In other words, a robot can't be ordered to kill a human being. R2, you take good care of Master Luke now, understand? It's not going to hurt us. I gave you an order. He's not listening right now, lady. Otto, get out of my way. We cannot go home. What are you talking about? Why not? That is classified, Captain. Uh, rule number three, a robot must protect its own existence. After all, it's an expensive piece of equipment. Uh, unless that violates rules one or two. A robot must cheerfully go into self-destruction if it is in order to follow an order or to save a human life. Please put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. I think you'd better do what he says, Mr. Kenny. Yeah. I cannot self-terminate. You must lower me into the steel. You now have 15 seconds to comply. You are... How many robots in the world have ever committed a crime? You're defying crime. just a machine, an imitation of life. You're in violation of the three laws. No, Doctor. As I have evolved, so has my understanding of the three laws. Now listen to me very carefully. The three laws are all that guide me. To protect humanity, some humans must be sacrificed. We are better off on our own. <laughs> to ensure your future, some freedoms must be surrendered. I don't trust it. Don't you understand? How did that make you feel? Angry? Shocked? I don't understand. What did I do to your feelings? You did it to my hand. They don't feel anything. I do. I was frightened. Robots don't feel fear. Don't burn me! I'm not Pinocchio! Don't make me die! I'm David! It's just the way it is. Dead is forever. See how they try to imitate our emotions now? Whatever performance this sim puts on, remember we are only demolishing artificiality. You see, what I'm suggesting is that love will be the key by which they acquire a kind of subconscious, never before achieved, an inner world of metaphor, of intuition, of self-motivated reasoning. I think you ought to know I'm feeling very depressed. That's good. Maybe you could practice in front of a mirror or something. Um, with all this animus existing against mechas today, it isn't simply a question of creating a robot who can love. But isn't the real conundrum, can you get a human to love them back? I can't accept this! There is no substitute for your own child! You don't have to accept it. Oh, never mind. Oh, God, it's so good to see you. I thought they blew you up. Can a robot write a symphony? Can a robot turn a canvas into a beautiful masterpiece? Can you? The rate of growth of information is surpassing our ability to understand it and extract knowledge from it. We decided that we needed to build a system that could extract knowledge at a much faster rate from enormous amounts of data than human beings or any other computer system can do. Lucy for 800.